as a quarterback, you kind of look at them and go, man, I'm salivating. I can't wait to play against Arizona. Yeah, I'm like that every week. But, uh, you know what I mean, the Pac-12 is really wide open. Everybody's losing to everybody. It's a tough conference, you know what I mean? But uh, just breaking down the film, I'm really excited to get after these guys. And, uh, we have a great opportunity. So you don't make too much out of the fact that they've given up a lot of points because every week's kind of different. <laughs> every week is different, man. Every week is different. Are you more nervous than you seem when you play? Because you always seem like you're even. This is no big deal. Uh, that you're just excited to play. Yeah. Uh, my first game is probably my most nervous game. But besides that, I love playing football. God has blessed me with the opportunity to play. And uh, I just love it. I love being here. What do you feel like you guys most accomplished during the bye week? What do you um, most improve on? We really I, I, coming out yesterday. I really saw everybody's bodies was really well rested. Everybody looked fresh, so that's a good thing. I guess that bye week really brought a, uh, fresh legs out, and, and everybody was looking really good. Everybody's excited to be out here, and everybody's ready to get after it. Was there anything at your position that you mm -hmm. wanted to quote unquote clean up or tighten up or get better at? Yeah, just my uh, overall presence in the pocket. You know I mean, just dropping straight back, straight back, not drifting. You know what I mean? Because uh, when you drift, it brings uh, undue pressure to yourself. So that was one thing I really tried to work on this, and trying to work on this week and last week. So. It was is the drifting just sort of a, a habit? That, yeah, that you... yeah. It, I don't do it every play, but <laughs> some plays I do it and just gotta break it. You've talked about your growing confidence and comfort level within, you know, just four games into your college career. But when you look at where you guys have progressed as a passing unit and where you really did well against Stanford, after having a week to kind of soak that all in, what did you really see? Um, that there's holes in the defense. Every defense has a hole in it, and uh, it's just about how you attack it. And then when you attack it, and when you have open open plays, and when you got opportunities, you just have to capitalize on it, because that's what great teams do. They capitalize on opportunity in great moments. I was talking to some defensive guys, and they say that the fact that they have to face your offense, even going back to the spring, really helps them obviously prepare for all the, yeah. the spread offenses in the Pac-12. To know that you're helping them prepare, oh, yeah. I guess, how does that how does that feel? Oh yeah, it's always a great feeling when you know you're helping con contrib uh, contribute to your team, and you know what I mean? When you get a win, it's just like it feels that much better. So, you know what I mean, it's always great to help your teammates out and uh, get that much closer to uh, what you're trying to accomplish.